Saberwing started in 2016, with the concept of flying from the Fukushima robot test base in Japan, to the Silicon Valley in California, non-stop and unrefueled. The initial design of the long-endurance UAV, was dubbed the Draco Air Vehicle, and would be able to cruise at 22,000 feet, at speeds of up to 150 knots. The Draco was designed to participate in the Pacific Drone Challenge, or PDC as it was also known, to determine if commercial UAVs could fly for long periods of time, safely and efficiently. Initial sponsors, such as Torre, Atolo Engineering, UAvionics, and several other sponsors agreed to participate in the PDC, and Saberwing went to work on the initial design, beginning with concept sketches, Saberwing engineers went to work, refining the aircraft design for efficient cruise speeds on a minimum amount of fuel. Initial designs investigated the use of batteries, but then, as today, none exist that can provide enough power for over 48 hours of flight time. Even with a battery extender motor, the batteries would be too heavy, and intolerant of the sub-zero temperatures for long periods of time above 20,000 feet. The first draft of the Draco Air Vehicle called for the use of a Winkel rotary engine driving a generator. This configuration, known as a series, turbo-electric drivetrain, is the cornerstone of all Saberwing designs to this day. In essence, the Draco was designed to be a flying electricity generation plant, that carried fuel for almost 5,000 nautical miles, at very high altitudes and nominal airspeeds. As Saberwing executives toured conferences, shows, and events, to increase interest in the PDC, it began to speak with customers about how the Draco aircraft could be used for air cargo delivery. While there was interest in the PDC, there was much more interest in the use of the Draco as an air cargo aircraft. Would-be customers discuss their aircraft needs, cargo sizes, range, and other features that made for an ideal regional air cargo carrier. Basic requirements, such as the ability to fly immediately upon reaching their aircraft fleet, and specifically, without the need for new infrastructure to be built in order to allow for immediate operations, or the need for the aircraft to be able to carry standard ULD cargo containers, or even the need to use only jet fuel, were air cargo carriers must-haves. Saberwing executives realized that it would be far easier to build a cargo aircraft that could one day fly non-stop across the Pacific Ocean, rather than an aircraft that is only built to fly across an ocean, and so the Regal Unmanned VTOL, Regional Air Cargo Aircraft, was born. Advances in materials, avionics and navigation technology, have allowed Saberwing to build the world's first unmanned, heavy lift, VTOL regional cargo aircraft. The Rigel aircraft is a remotely piloted air vehicle, and can be flown to locations where no fixed-wing airplane or helicopter is capable of going. The Rigel A aircraft, pictured here, is a half-scale prototype that can carry a 1,000-pound payload, for over 1,000 nautical miles. It can also fly at up to 22,000 feet, at altitudes that allow it to fly directly to most locations, out of the worst weather at most altitudes, 
but also allows it to remain clear of the bulk of manned air traffic. The Rigel B aircraft is a production version, and has the capability of carrying over 5,400 pounds of cargo, when taking off and landing vertically. When taking off with a very short takeoff roll, the aircraft can carry up to 10,000 pounds of cargo, and fly 1,000 nautical miles as well. The Rigel B, can carry two fully loaded LD-1 containers, or four LD-2 containers, or two LD-3 containers, including the LD-3 reefer, or refrigerated cargo container, as well as provide electric power to keep the container at the proper storage temperatures. The Rigel payload of containers or bulk cargo is loaded through the nose of the aircraft, and does not require the use of special cargo handling equipment, which is useful when delivering cargo to the most remote locations. Finally, the Rigel can weigh itself automatically, and provide the cargo loaders with an accurate weight and center of gravity before the flight, to assure that the aircraft is always within its loading envelope. Beginning in April of 2020, Saberwing was the first company to be awarded a contract, under the new Agility Prime program, by the United States Air Force. In a contract valued at over $3.3 million, the Rigel A aircraft is demonstrating, to the Air Force, the capability of flying in difficult environments, including the ability to navigate the aircraft without GPS, the ability to carry cargo to remote locations, the ability to be used to evacuate casualties, and even the capability of landing the aircraft on a ship at sea. The Rigel aircraft are ideal for any air cargo fleet. They can operate at 60% lower operation and maintenance cost than a similar fixed wing, single engine aircraft, yet carry almost twice as much payload weight as its closest twin engine competitor. Whether it's for air cargo, disaster relief, firefighting, or the transport of high-value cargo, or even emergency medical evacuation, no other aircraft manufactured can provide as much capability as the Saberwing Rigel. Saberwing is redefining the future of air cargo. For more information on the company, or, to find out more about our incredible aircraft, please visit us at www.saberwingaircraft.com.